So educational psychologists um, aim to promote positive outcomes for children and young people and to remove barriers to learning. And we do this through working with key adults who know them well, doing individual observation and assessments with children, doing training for staff and parents to help them to help the children, and also devising and monitoring interventions that might help children to overcome difficulties. I'm now going to explain how to train to become an educational psychologist. You might be able to do psychology as a GCSE or an A-level at your college or school. If not, that's not a problem. You don't have to have that as a subject to be able to do a psychology degree, although it might help you to find out a bit more about it and check that you're really interested in it. Subjects that are really helpful are maths, English and science, particularly biology, because there's quite a lot of content in your degree that involves sort of those kind of skills. When you're considering which university to go to, it's really important to check that your degree will make you have the graduate basis for chartership with the British Psychological Society, because if you want to be an applied psychologist in the future, you have to make sure you've got that to be able to do so. It just makes sure that there's enough psychology content in your degree and that it's from a reputable university so that when you are going on in the future perhaps to do um, a postgraduate qualification, that they are satisfied that your degree was good enough to do so. Once you've completed your psychology degree, you then need to gain at least a year's full-time experience working with children and young people. So I, for example, was a teacher, but you don't have to be a teacher anymore. Other experiences might be a teaching assistant or a, um, a child support worker working in a residential home. Sometimes people get graduate psychology posts or work for a charity, something like that. As an educational psychologist, there's quite a lot of variety in the type of work that you do. So an example would be we do training of staff and parents to help them to support children and young people. We might do research projects either for schools or for the local authority if they want to investigate a certain area of need. So for example, they might want to find out about motivation and design a research project. We devise interventions which young people can carry out to help them develop a certain skill. We observe young people in class, look at the environment and try to identify any barriers for learning in the environment. And we also do individual assessments. So if you're considering a job that involves a good variety of work, working with young people but also with adults, problem solving, looking for positive solutions. I think educational psychology could be a really good job for you. I enjoy it, it's a busy job, you've always got lots to do but there's a lot of variety and you get to meet lots of interesting children and young people and help them to, to move forward in their lives which is satisfying.